So here we're looking at the abdominal uh, cavity of our model here. We can see that we have the liver over top of the stomach. We have the right lobe of the liver and the left lobe of the liver. So the right lobe is larger. You can see it sits mostly to the right-hand side. If we are looking at the sort of more detailed model that we have in the lab, you can see how that corresponds. You have the right lobe here and the left lobe, and in between you have that falciform ligament. If you look at the posterior aspect of this model, you can see uh, our third lobe of the liver, which is the caudate lobe. I like to think of this as the tail of the liver because the caudal fin of a fish is the tail fin of the fish. If we take a look underneath this, the inferior view, we can see the fourth lobe, which is the quadrate lobe, and that is this right here. You can see it has four sides, quadrate. Uh, just to the right of that, you're going to see the gallbladder. Uh, the gallbladder stores bile. The liver actually makes the bile, but the gallbladder stores it. Uh, and it releases that bile into what's called the cystic duct, so that's co uh, connected right to the gallbladder itself. Now the liver is also going to secrete this bile into the duodenum, and it does so through a couple of ducts. You've got the left hepatic duct right there and the right hepatic duct here coming from the left lobe and from the right lobe. They fuse to become the common hepatic duct. So if you look at that, it's right here, common implying shared space. Uh, but bile only travels through one duct to get to the duodenum, so the common hepatic duct and the cystic duct are going to fuse to become the common bile duct and that is going to take that bile down to the duodenum, uh, meet up with the pancreatic duct, and that's going to secrete the, uh, the bile into the duodenum to help digest fats. The other structures that we can see on here include the hepatic artery, which brings blood to the tissues of the liver itself so that the liver can uh, perform its functions, uh, so oxygen and nutrients going out to the cells of the liver. This purple uh, structure that you see right here would be called the hepatic portal vein. I like to think purple portal, portal purple. Uh, and what happens with this is you have the mesenteric veins that are draining the blood from the intestines, pulling it into this hepatic portal vein, and that brings our sort of uh, blood with all of our nutrients, uh, and toxins, anything that needs to be metabolized to the liver tissue. The liver is going to metabolize that, break things down into smaller pieces, uh, and then what's going to happen is that blood, sort of our cleaned blood, will drain into these blue structures here, which are the hepatic veins. All of those hepatic veins are going to merge to go into the inferior vena cava. So our clean blood now, not oxygenated, but cleaned blood, is going to go into the right atrium, go through the heart, uh, go to the uh, the lungs to get oxygen, and then that blood is going to go out to the rest of the body.